It's a place where secrets are told and problems are solved. Your neighborhood barber shop. That's the way it's been for decades at a shop in St. Peter's, Missouri. And in tonight's Making a Difference report, you're about to find out why his customers think George Sullivan is the main man. It's another day at the Harvester Barbershop in St. Peter's, Missouri. And another time. One step inside and the past is present. I say I have to go get a haircut. I know where I'm going to come. The owner, George Sullivan, has been cutting with scissors for 44 years. My grandfather was a barber. And with his knickknacks and souvenirs, memories are climbing the walls. When George opened his shop, it had one chair and a haircut cost little more than two bits. Yes, I can tell you. It's three dollars and twenty-five cents. And it's still a bargain at fifteen bucks. Though he eventually moved and expanded, not much else has changed. There are still no appointments, no computers, and no bad hair days. Get a good haircut and stay up to date on everything that's going on. Despite all the keepsakes, there is one thing that George the Barber cherishes above all else. Take care, thanks. His clients. Some have been coming in for decades. You have customers, but they're your friends also, you know. A barber is part stylist, part psychiatrist. Ooh. They, just, they just got back from Colorado. So the conversation here covers everything from sports to women. And sometimes it gets a little risque too once in a while, but that's okay too, you know. <laughs> If these mirrors could talk, they'd have quite a story to tell. But there's one story that has the edge. The reason customers are so loyal to George is because George is loyal to them. When the need arises, he even makes house calls. George, how, how, are you? Are you? how you doing, buddy? When his longtime clients can't come into the shop, Good to see you. he brings the shop <laughs> to them. My dad's in a wheelchair, and uh, my mom wasn't able to take him for a while because she was laid up with a, a knee injury. Every Monday on his day off, How you been doing, Bill? He calls on people yeah, like 86-year-old Bill Bear Sr. I just feel like it's my way of giving back. It may seem like a small thing, but just ask and you'll find it makes a big difference. I think he gives you your dignity. And uh, that's important. You might think that a service like this would be expensive. You might think that, but you'd be wrong. He will not take anything. My mom's tried and he, he, he will not take anything. What happened? Where'd he go? <laughs> less, he good. less hair there. When he's done here, he's off to help someone else look a little better in the hopes that they will feel a little better. I thank you. Love you guys. Thank you for all you do. In this thank era or any other, have a good day. George Bye. the Barber is clearly a cut above. Because there's not many people that are like that anymore. Now, George cuts the hair of a lot of servicemen, and a flag on his wall was flown for him at a base in Afghanistan. And a reminder, if you know of an individual making a difference, let me know by email at mbush at ksdk.com.